I say yo. Welcome to the BBW show. You feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling. Topic today is NBA basketball. Let's get into it. You feel me? We got less than, less than, less than 30 days left for the NBA season this year. Oh my goodness. You feel me? This has been a great NBA season so far. But these last 30 games is going to be memorable. Promise me. We're going to be memorable. Now, we just had a great trade deadline. All-Star Weekend was okay. It was okay. But we finally got players signed from the buyout market. You feel me? The not, Now, everybody, this is going to be the last roster going into the playoffs. Now, Russell Westbrook on the LA Clippers. Wow. I did not want that to happen. I'm not going to lie. I know a lot of people wanted that to happen. I did not want Westbrook to sign with the Clippers, bro. He's honestly going to be the scapegoat. He's going to be the scapegoat. First, it's good. they're going to blame Tyron Lu. Then they're going to blame Westbrook. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George are going to be the last ones to take the blame if the Clippers don't win this year. Honestly, they're going to be the last ones to take the blame. The Clippers, on paper, probably have the best team in the A. Honestly, on paper. But they don't play a lot together, honestly. They don't play a lot of games together. They have no cohesive unit, none of that. No chemistry, none of that. that but on paper, Norman Powell, Bones Highland, Eric Gordon, Kawhi, Paul George, Zubak, Mason Pumley. Like, bro, they have a nice squad. I ain't gonna lie, they got a nice squad. It's just, they gotta get it together. They gotta th get it together. This is honestly the last chance for the LA Clippers to go to the finals. Not even win it. This is their last chance to go there. Because next year, they're going to break it up, bro. Next year, they're going to break it up. If Tyron Lue does not go to the finals this year, he's going to get fired. I'm sorry. He's going to get fired. He's going to get fired. That was a Marquis acquisition. Terrence Ross going to the Phoenix Suns. That was a big deal, honestly. He got bought out by what? The um Magics, right? The Orlando Magics, I think, bought him out. Terrence Ross is fake getting busy. Gangster. You go back to six years ago when DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry was on the Raptors. Terrence Rose was a great six man that they had. You feel me? He went on the Magics for the bag. And then he's been in NBA Siberia ever since. So now he's on a championship team. About to get right for the Phoenix Suns. I hope that he plays good. Kevin Love. Kevin Love is finally off the Cuban Cavaliers. The year that the Cavaliers finally do good, they buy out Kevin Love. I don't like that, honestly. Kevin Love been a loyal teammate for mad long. They could have kept him this year, bro. They could have kept him. Because the Cavaliers could go to the conference finals this year. They can. The Cavaliers have a real shot of going to the conference finals. I fight Kevin Love. He's going to get playing time on Miami, but he might not win nothing. You feel me? Kevin Love on Miami with Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo. That's a good pickup. That's really a good pickup. And I hope he starts. I don't know if he will, but I hope he starts. Because Miami already has a lot of defense, but they need shooting. They need more shooting, honestly. They need more shooting. They be relying on Jimmy Butler way too much sometimes. Way too much. So I like that Kevin Love is going to give him some veteran experience. That's a nice pickup. Um, Reggie Jackson going to Denver Nuggets. That's a nice solid pickup. It seems like Denver does not have a point guard because they got Jokic. You feel me? Reggie Jackson is a nice point guard you could put in clutch time, and he could go to work. He can't go to work. He's having a bad year right now, but Reggie Jackson can nab dead ass have a last second shot win. He can in the playoffs. He can dead ass do that. He can beat niggas ISO. He can spot up. He's really good. That was a nice surprise. Danny Green going to the Cavaliers. This one I kind of like. I kind of like. Danny Green got like three championships. One with the Spurs, one with the Raptors, one with the Lakers in a bubble. So he's definitely bringing championship pedigree to the Cavaliers. And he's going to give them a nice spot of shoot if they need it. You feel me? That's a nice good pickup. I don't know if it take the Cavs up there with the Celtics and the Bucks, but it definitely makes the Cavs a championship team more. You feel me? It definitely solidifies the Cavaliers out of, as a championship team. Last but not least, the biggest surprise to me of the NBA buyout market. Patrick Beverly going to the Chicago Bulls. That was a surprise. That was a surprise. I've been calling Patrick Beverly Chirac for years. 
Even before I knew he was from Chicago, I, that was my nickname for him, Chirac, you feel me? Him and the Lakers was not a good fit. It was not a good fit, him and the Lakers, you feel me? Um, now he's off the Lakers, he's on Chicago. Chicago's the 11th seed right now. They are two games behind the Toronto Raptors and the Washington Wizards. Now, on paper, I might think the I might think they're better than them. I do. I think they're better than the Wizards and the Raptors. I honestly do. But you feel me? We don't we don't know that. We honestly don't know that. And I feel like Patrick Beverly is easily going to be their starting point guard. Lonzo Ball is going to miss the whole year. Caruso is way better off the bench than as a starter. So I feel like it's a nice minimal move. You feel me? He's going to bring them defense. He's going to bring them energy. But it's a minimal move. You feel me? Minimal move. Minimal move. Minimal move. I like it for Patrick Beverly way more than I like it for the Chicago Bulls. Honestly. I feel like Patrick Beverly can damn near end his career as a Chicago Bull. Patrick Beverly been in the A since like what? 06? 05? This is damn near like his 10th, 11th, 13th year some shit. He's been in the A. So it's like, bro, that's something. That's something to really think about. And he's been a starting point guard most of that time. So if he can end his career at home on the Chicago Bulls, either this year or the next two years, that's a good look. But I feel like the Bulls, they can either make the play-in and lose, or they can not make the play-in. They're either in both of them. I can see the Bulls ending their season as the 11th seed. You feel me? I can also see them making it to the 9th seed, going up against the 8th seed and then losing. Or going up against the 10th seed and then losing. You feel me? So I like it way more for Patrick Beverly than I do Chicago Bulls. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at HRW underscore podcast. Follow me on Twitter at Hoops Wrestling. I'll be back with more.